still doing polynomial times a polynomial, only this time we have a trinomial, which means three terms, times a trinomial. And yes, you're right, the steps are the same. Okay, it's just going to end up being uh, more stuff going on. So I'll take it one thing at a time. What are the first two terms you're going to multiply here? Yeah. Distribute. Yeah, so exactly. So you're going to distribute the 2x and the 6x. Let me borrow your desk, please. So it's going to be 2x times 6x. Okay. Then we're going to distribute the 2x to the y. And then we're going to distribute the 2x to the minus 7. Okay, so now you're done with the 2x term. You can move on to the minus y. So you're going to take the minus y and distribute to the 6x. I'm going to move this a little bit. Yeah. Okay, then you're going to take the minus y, distribute to the positive y. Then you're going to take the minus y and distribute to the minus 7. Very good. Then you're going to distribute the 4. So you're going to take the 4 and distribute to the 6x. <laughs> oh, that's bad. It's really good grade. <laughs> Then you're going to take the 4 and distribute to the positive y. It's just over and to the right. And then we'll just use black for the last one, 4 and minus 7. <laughs> OK, so step two, we're going to multiply the monomials. So we're going to do 2x times 6x, fill in the missing exponents, and that equals what? 12x squared. Good job. Yeah, to the second, same thing. Then 2x times y is just what? 2xy, right? Nothing complicated there. Okay. Then we got 2x times minus 7. Negative 14x. Good job. Okay. Then we got... Minus y times 6x. Negative 6xy, right? You're just reordering. You put the coefficient first, then the x and the y. Plus zero. I'm going to fill in the missing exponents here. So minus y to the first, y to the first gives you? Good job. Minus y squared. Then we got minus y times negative 7, so we know it's going to be positive. Positive 7y. Then we got positive 4 times 6x would be positive 24x. Then we got plus 4y, which is just plus 4y. Same as what, what it is. Okay. Then we got minus, sorry, plus 4 times minus 7. Negative 28. <clears throat> now I am going to go ahead and do step 3. When you have 9 terms, I think it probably is important to just go ahead and order them so you don't miss anything. So uh, the biggest power here would be the x squared. So I'm going to put the 12x squared first. Then go ahead and just check that one off. Then I see a y squared. I'm going to go ahead and put that second. Um, x, y is kind of like a squared term because they both have an exponent of 1. So that would become a 2, technically. So, so in other words, I'm actually going to put those next. So I'm going to put... Yes, we will. So I'm going to put plus 2xy next, and then minus 6y. When you have an x and a y term, you'll put it before the x, the x and the y term. You see what I'm saying? Well, but I thought something like 
Yeah. Uh, the squared terms will come first, and then the xy terms, and then the x and the y's. But actually, to be honest, it's not that big of a deal, as long as you make sure you cover everything and you group the like terms. So next, I'm going to put the minus 14x and the plus 24x. Okay, so now we have three terms left. We will do the plus 7y and the plus 4y. Okay, and then the very last term is just the number minus 28. Very good, so next step, we're gonna combine the like terms. Now, any term that doesn't combine, I just have to rewrite it. So I have 12x squared um, minus y squared. Those do not have any terms. To... Well, I'll put that at the end, yeah. <clears throat> but I am going to combine these two terms because they're both xy, so that will become what? Minus 4xy. Okay. Also, these two terms are going to combine because they're both x, and they're going to form plus 10x. Okay, also these two terms will combine. They're both y, they will form plus 11y. That's right, then the minus 28 doesn't combine with anything, so I'm just going to drop it down, and that's going to be the final answer.